Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is 7-2 of Rainbow Resort. We're in some spooky area. Listen. The wind howls. The spirits of the undead are upon us. Oh my god. It's the spirit of Poppy Brothers Sr. He will throw his bombs to rape us. Anyway, we got some awesome music going on here, and his pattern is extremely easy to predict. If he stays on one side like, if he stays on one side like that, all you have to do is jump over him. I was gonna say, and that's really about it. Uh, otherwise, he'll be in close proximity of his bombs, and whoop, like that, he'll just go right over you, and he does that third jump or say third hop to the side. And there we go. Give me your crash power. Woo! And this is like a boss rush area of sorts, so getting each power from each enemy is definitely an advantage, just to be able to take on the next boss. Um, give me your notes. Give me, give me, no, don't do a little sound shockwave. There we go. And this will give me the mic power, which will give me three shots to rape my boss adversaries, like Mr. Walrus Butt over here. This is gonna take three hits to kill him, isn't it? Yep, it is. So, give me your freezing power, and through the door I go. I don't think this is gonna be of much use. Yeah, not here at least. The free, the freezing power is only good for like close range combat because it guards you, and only from enemies that take one hit to kill. Uh, but for bosses, it's not good whatsoever. So I'm just gonna kill him the normal, normal way. I was gonna say. Give me your hammer. This is, this is, I guess, is okay because it gives you a little bit of range and control of over your movement. But I'm almost gonna pet with one life. I'm gonna die on this next one here. Got an elephant dude, and uh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh boy. Don't shoot your apple. Oh, you shot your apple. Uh, oh boy. Oh, he got me. Norm to kill him normally, you just need to suck in his apples and throw it back at him. I don't have any powers this time, so that's exactly what I'm gonna have to do. Come on, apple me. Gotta have my apple jacks. Demi! Yeah! Eat apple jacks! They're good for you! Oh, they kill you if they're like whole apples and they're thrown at you at high speeds. I could definitely see an apple killing a man that when thrown or shot at high speeds. They are quite the hard fruit, unless rotten. Oh shoot, why didn't I why didn't I jump there? I kinda I kinda thought he was gonna shoot an apple, but. He doesn't usually shoot apples that many times in a row, so I don't know why he jumped there. That's what I mean. Oh, okay, so... Give me... Yeah! And I don't think your throw power is going to be of use, especially against bosses, so... Uh, I'm just going to do like this and do like that. Yeah! Here's Bugsy. To kill him normally, just going to suck in his ladybug dooters, as I said before. Yeah, there we go. Give me... Shoot! Give me... Shoot! There we go. He's almost dead already. Uh, you, the strategy for strategy for Bugsy is just to stay far away from this guy. He is unpredictable and powerful unless you're from a distance, unless you keep your distance from him. If I suck in that, oh, that doesn't give me anything. This will give me the backdrop ability. That is also not going to be of use uh, for the bosses. Man, they're giving me some bad powers, but that might be the whole idea. I should say bad powers for bosses. And I got lion guy here, he's gonna shoot a star, or should say make a star appear when he gets his face in the ground on that jump. This'll do nothing whatsoever. Um, this... Oh, he's gonna do his little slash attack there. You give me a star... Oh, I'm gonna take a hit there, aren't I? No, I'm not! Wow! How the heck am I not taking a hit? Oh, oh! Oh boy. See, this is what I mean about the lion guy, how unpredictable he is. It's just... Oh, shoot, he got me! He got me! He's balling me up! Oh, okay, I'm safe. Well, for now. Give me a freaking star. Jump at me. Come on, give me the star. Or at least do your blaze attack to go inside, or go hit the wall and make a star. Well, this is an okay power for the bosses, uh, the burning power, because you can go right through them. Oh, but I guess it's all over with. Well, that's nice. <laughs> what a ripoff! I finally got a good power, and I, and I got ripped off, and it's just horrible. Well, anyway... Coming up to this area, we got a Maximum Tomato and a Sword Guy, plus the end. And 
That's the end of that stage. No secrets to be found there, obviously. There wasn't anything to be showing. Door is cleared. 7 3, let's go. Burning power for the win! Woo! Uh, it, the burning power is actually kind of handy upstairs. Because you can kind of like climb using the burning power and just like take take on each stair individually, so to speak. Uh, and so that pretty ba basically makes you invincible on stairs. Uh, at least when you're going up them. I, I really like the design of this area. It's like abstract with a pattern. I I'm a big fan of like abstract level design and stuff like that. Um, or I should say crazy like level design. So this is pretty nice and right up my alley. And here's a door. There's a delightful door and some more abstract like structures. Uh, maybe polygonal, perhaps. Uh, now we got invincibility, so let's just run through here while we have the chance. I don't think there's any secrets to be found on this level anyway. There, there might be some, but I mean nothing that requires you to get them to be 100%. Run through here before the cannons start dropping like that. Once you destroy that uh, bomb thing, it'll make everything drop. And four. Oh, I'm getting worse and worse at the springy thing as I go. <sighs> what can you do? So, seven four. Here we go. And we got a bouncy ball guy. Is that something that I want? Um, I forgot to mention exactly how this bouncy ball power works. Um, whenever you see yourself flash, um, you can press the B button again to get more height. That's the trick of the ball power. Let's see if I can show that off here. Um, it's it's kind of hard to do, which makes it one of my least favorite powers because of it. Um, ah, screw it. I'll just... <laughs> I'm, I'm about to die anyway. But... Yeah, whenever you see yourself flash when you're in ball form, you can do, uh, like, a really super high jump by, by pressing the A button. And, come on, charge it up. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, there we go. And eventually you get to the point where you can bounce off the ceiling and the floor in rhythm, and then that basically makes you invincible. Uh, that's the idea with the ball power-up, but it's so hard to do. It's just... It's just not something that you can do consistently. That's why I'm not a fan of the ball power-up. Uh, uh, well, so, I shouldn't say that. Some people, I'm sure, could do the do that consistently. But I can't, so it's not my kind of power. Uh, maybe I could do it if I practiced it enough. Well, I should say I'm sure I could do it if I practiced it enough. Anyone could do anything if, uh, if, if something is pra practiced enough. Let's just say that. There is nothing you can't achieve, basically. And, oh shoot! I, I grabbed the wrong block. Uh, I guess I was gonna—I was—I would have taken a hit anyway. Um, so whatever. I'm going to grab that because this is gonna be excellent for this area. I can tell because once I destroy one of these things, the thing above it will fall on my head, or at least it'll try. So it'll just fall right onto my spark. Oh, well, I guess I'm guarded there. Except by that bomb, so I got kind of lucky there. Ooh, I want that one up. Oh, will this help? Yes, it will. Oh, awesome. I was wondering how I was gonna, how I was, <clears throat> how I was gonna get that one up, but that explains it. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! I see what they want me to do. They want me to um, bomb this so I can progress like. Oh, I was gonna say like progress through the other side. And why am I running into enemies so badly? I'm getting so aggressive. Yeah. That was that was almost a death there. And by the way, I should mention, whenever you go back into a stage without turning off the game, um, all your drinks and one-ups and pow well, not powers, um, uh, like maximum tomatoes and stuff like that, health revitalizing stuff, they don't come back until you restart the game. Yeah. So it's it's kind of tricky to recover your health if you're if you continuously play unless you keep progressing. Anyway, next stage. Six dash five. Oh, six dash five. Seven dash five. Oh God, bombs! Oh no 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 no! I'm staying high now that I know you guys are here. Oh yeah, you guys just keep committing suicide here, and I'll just keep going along here. Bomb enemies are the original emo. Oh boy. Oh boy, if that was mean, you aren't supposed to turn around that fast. Anyway, give me a wheel guy, there you go. And I will shoot you with your own wheel guy. Your own child. 
And wait, give me. Wait, give me. There we go. One more. Oh, one more, please. Thank you. And that's it. Will I need the wheel power up? I don't know. I guess we shall soon. So, I was gonna say soon find out. This is not conducive to victory. Yeah, this is very strong wind. I have to say, holy poopers! You can tell which way the wind direction is going just by. Oh my God, burning guy! <laughs> Luckily, I had a little puff of air in my mouth to kill him, and I reacted in time. And there is the door right down there. Burning, oh, fire, not burning. Um, oh, what is this? What is this? Could this be a secret in the level? I bet you it's gonna be a secret. Give me, oh, I don't want you, actually. Actually, you're gonna get in my way. Oh, go, 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 oh, oh, this is gonna be a tough one. Let's try it again. Oh, oh I'm not, I nicked the fuse, dang it. Let's try it one more time. Come on, I can get this. Mm. Eh, eh. Eh, eh, ah! A little bit faster. Come on now. We can do this. We can do this. Ah! Poopers, that one is really annoying. And the burning power up definitely wouldn't help there either. And the laser, uh, while it could light the fuse, it can't bounce the right way to be able to get there. You know, it, it can't go, you know, it can't bounce through this little corridor. So this is all about the technique. All about the finesse. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I want to nick it, like, right on the edge. There we go. So I can get to it quickly. Dang it! Ah! Well, you know what? Let's just see if that really is the thing that I need. Oh, there's the end. Let's just see if that is the secret that I need to find. But that does seem to be the only way you can do it, is to be fast enough. Is there a secret there? Because I don't believe there was a secret in that stage that I need to find. No, there wasn't. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that. I don't care. That one's annoying to get. Wait, wait. It's the Green Greens music! Woo! I love this music so much! And this appears to be a recreation of uh, the Game Boy game, Kirby's, Kirby in Dreamland, I think. Or Kirby's Dreamland, excuse me. Um, oh, this music is just so classic. Oh yeah, that's the best singing ever. And as you can see, this is an extremely easy stage. Uh, it's just a uh, black and white throwback to the Game Boy stage, basically. It, I don't think it was designed to be hard, it's just there as like a novelty. Ooh, one up plus maximum tomato makes me a very happy pink puff. Yeah! Is that gonna hit me? No, it's not. Okay. I thought I was gonna get trapped there by a cannonball. So, we're going through this stage, there's black and white palm trees all over the place, extremely dark black lines, very bold black lines I should say. This makes no sense from a natural perspective, and this is gonna fall, yeah. This reminds me of uh, something in Kirby Superstar Ultra, is there anything here? No, okay, just wanted to make sure. I, I was pushing up there to see if there was a door over there. Kaboom! Give me your body, and there we go. I will use all of you as projectiles as needed. So let's do this. How did I do that? I mean, how did I break those? Did I, like, nick them on my way down and broke them or something? Ah, uh, I don't know. Ah! Don't do that, Scarfy. You guys are great guards. You're in formation and everything. So now we're in the Moon Kingdom, I guess, or something. I don't know. I'm about to find out, though. So, oh wait, this looks really familiar. Can I, oh, I bet you there's going to be a secret in the sky. I'm betting there's going to be a secret in the sky. $3,000 bet here. Actually, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, wait, there's a moon. Is this it? Yeah! That's what I thought. There's a switch there. That unlocks the warp star area to go back to other areas. Maximum tomato. One up, and let's go through the door. And there's the end. Let's go through it, and that's the end of this part. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one.